T-Dub Club. Check it out. Back on the bike. And getting ready to go ride. But I just filled up my tank. And look, I get to put 1.5 in to my 2.7 gallon tank. So more, more miles, more smiles. And uh, kind of doing a, gonna run portion of the same trail as I rode last time, but I found a different route to the same trail that includes some dirt and some epic views so we're gonna link that together and yes it is getting close to Halloween time and and people have been uh, getting rather excited across town and uh, get you a uh, different look and if I'm lucky I might add uh, a second additional section on if I'm lucky kind of just depends on time and all that good stuff right so we shall see what happens Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Super excited to be uh, back out on the bike. And uh, we'll, we'll get this thing underway here. get across these high traffic tourist road areas here without enter any little pick em ups Ooh, I saw him making the move you gotta keep your eyes out you gotta keep them open because you just never know alright I'll clip you in in a second I don't know if you can, you can see it some of the wacky stuff flying around here. Woo! Alright, here's another little section. High tourist area. But, it is dirt. Relatively in townish, <laughs> ah, but lots of traffic, especially today. I'll show you why in just a bit. Look at that little mountain bike trail. Whew. Some of these mountain bike trails, you just want to come down them, not go up them. Traffic Dirt Road. HTDR. I'll put some. Alright, so this little uh, first section right here, I'm gonna test it out. My buddy George, a uh, co-worker, he said that uh, it can be a little uh, a little tr 
treacherous, so I'll just have to see. Hey. Just gonna sit in the shade over here a second. <laughs> you don't have to run? <laughs> oh, I see. Ah. <laughs> All right, you guys have a good one. Just you? Alright. So, this is some more of that uh, dual purpose trails. How much? We'll see. Hey, hey, hey. What's that? Yeah, you can go ahead. Okay. Interesting trail, man. <laughs> hey, yeah. foot scraper. These little T dubs are low to the ground. At least on a mountain bike, you can rotate the cranks. But, whoo, Look at that view. Oh my goodness. Well, I said I was adding a secondary trail, but I wasn't thinking about this one, so this might not be it. So we'll have to see how it goes. Hey, hey. All right, thank you. Hello. Thank you. Take the circuit. 
DG everywhere. Just see where it goes. Well, it goes off onto a gnarly drop. Yeah, that's Garden of the Gods. That's gonna go back around. I don't want to go that way. I want to go further up. That's kind of cool little. lookout spot hey hey what's that I have no idea I just kind of came up this side and saw that and was like I'm gonna go <laughs> have a good one G City. I'm running the ridge. Ridge. Running the ledge. This little mountain here. I saw uh, Garden of the Gods out to my right over there. So. Just trying to keep the momentum going here. My little XR100 would just be champion. I don't know if um, I don't know if the foot pegs on the little 100 have more ground clearance than a TW200. So I can't really tell you, but I just know that bike is a little bit more easier to throw around, and you know you're not worried about mirrors <laughs> and all sorts of other things but oh my goodness look at that look at that wow yeah 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 oh I bet that's a cross cut that could 
Pedro Oh Just a little gravel wash area here I need a six speed. I need to know who's the most official person doing six speed kits for these TW 200s. I want my I want my low gear back, but I I want my top top end as well. Wow, man. This is just spectacular stuff. I'm gonna keep on rolling. <laughs> oh man. This is just mind boggling right now. Don't be getting crazy right now. Wow. kind of letting the tape roll because uh, this is my first time checking this trail out don't know where it's gonna come out to don't know if it's an out and back I'm just spectating <laughs> wow This is just pretty punk rock of a little trail here, just above the uh, city high line of Colorado Springs, up on the ridge. Just gonna take my time and kind of. through here there's some old trail action going up through there this is this seems to be the majority way and we seem to be cutting back into the mountain now I figured it out Hey, hey, just one. But, uh, yeah, all these little mountains have uh, just nothing but all these fingers. So it's not like a consistent ridge all the way to Denver. It's just all these little fingers. <laughs> Now this thing will probably circle back around to somewhere. I don't know. I don't know, don't know. But I'm just gonna enjoy this little ride. I'm 
about seeing down there. Uh, seeing like a road, another trail, circling back around. Probably another, just to circle back around. But man. Hey, hey, hey. I messed up his flow. Sorry about that, dude. I, I can't really put this big old bike off on the edge. <laughs> you know what I didn't do? I should have done it. I didn't start my GPS kit on this trail in case I came out somewhere where I don't know I am and that's kind of looking like what's going to happen here this thing might be dropping out somewhere over the rainbow this leg of the journey So I, like I'll be continuing on. Looks like I'll be continuing on this way. Where? How far? I don't know.
<laughs> I had to take that photo. I mean, look at that. But <laughs> he was shriveled up. He's like, I know where I'm going. I'm going to the right and laying against the wall. for colder weather rides I don't know I feel like these mountain bike guys will be out here this winter just more geared up so this may be a first and last ride trail for being so close to town oh DG come on Momentum, get your feet on the pegs. That's the only way you're gonna get real traction to the back tire is to get that weight on the foot pegs. Cause that actually puts weight directly on the tire. Putting weight on the seat. I don't know. They I didn't write the rules, that's just the way the the game works. This is definitely more a uh, foot peg challenge than anything else though. The big dual sport or enduro bikes, they actually have twice as much ground clearance. goodness I'm heated up right now but man look at that oh okay maybe this is not the trail Your tire pivot the bike. I don't know if it goes around or not, but I'm already sweating, so I don't know if I want to really get into it that hard. But yeah, that's true.
Hello. Just you two? Alright, just me. be one of those trails that I'd almost be more comfortable doing this at night I know that sounds really weird but but I'm just more nervous about the mountain bikers coming at me hot dogging it style and if I was on a mountain bike I'd be doing the same thing Moto, not that way. So my trail is this way. I get stick to the wall. Carry that momentum. this is gonna drop out I don't know I mean just the way these tra trails are this just would make sense to be a out and back but if it is it means I get to ride it twice and it's gonna be a hundred percent different in the other direction heated up there for a minute and I feel a nice little cool breeze coming in now so it's just like I don't want to get too sweaty and then get all crazy cold but man I'm glad I have my water going situation ricochet skid plate engage <laughs> uh, I'm like more uh, like where's this bad boy gonna come out at foot peggies promoto billet taking the abuse How you guys doing? Thank you. Okay. It's crazy. I've got to be close to somewhere, right? Breaking whoops.
really? <laughs> What's up? And what about going further? Oh, really? <laughs> I, I couldn't hear anything. I'm just kind of wondering are we close to coming out up here anywhere? <laughs> yeah, it looks like if we get across this little ridge here, it starts going back downhill. Huh. So it just is it just this little ledge right here? Let me uh let me drop a couple of pounds out of this back tire. <laughs> What's that? It's the, cliff. it's the cliff. I've never been in here before, so this is my. <laughs> Oh, uh, there's a section on the other side. Well, oh, there you have it, folks. I'm calling it quits on this. Just talked to a kid on a mountain bike. It says, I can go all the way to the top of Pikes Peak. But, that's going to be an adventure for another day. I'm actually going to park my bike right over here. And I'm going to come back and and look at this there's a guy on an old uh, 71 Suzuki that he just went up and stopped and uh, hey he said it's pretty pretty gnar so I'm gonna 10 100 it here real quick and then uh, we'll assess the situation all right, I waited a minute here, maybe a minute, <laughs> and uh, I think I'm going to head back down, and I may try to throw in that loop that I did previously, just to keep the riding action going, but i got to contend with getting back on this, so we will see how all this goes. You know what I'm saying? I'm, uh, I'm going to cut the film off. 
because you know going uh, going backwards or going you know same trail same direction oh see there's that lot down there that's where we started last time on the last video and I went up that road there so I was hoping that this was gonna well I was hoping I would be able to make it around and come out over there um, but yeah lacking a little bit of a uh, enduro moto skills muscle I'm just kind of being smart I gotta go to work tomorrow and uh nothing to prove right like them never gonna come back or you know it's like just uh, you know we can do it again on another day <laughs> maybe if I had some help you know who remember t-dub's kid when he had the winch oh I'm in Colorado now might have to put a winch on the t-dub that would actually be pretty punk rock. Just go up there. <laughs> Alrighty. All right, well. I don't have any other real major thoughts right now other than I'm just gonna wiggle my way through this uh, contraption e start baby what <laughs> all right Mountain bikers liable to come up on me and pass me on the wall. But uh, I'm just kind of chilling. Enjoying my sights. Bird. It's the uh, adventures of solo riding, man. You gotta, you gotta play by a different game. Oh, foot Peggy. <laughs> uh, hey, Jason. <laughs> Pedals Bike Shop, Jason. Remember our, uh, we're, we're, we just got our T-dubs and we're all giddy happy and we went and did Redonda Ridge and, and Big Bear. You know, the Malcolm Smith Trail. <laughs> oh, boy. We ride all over in Big Bear and I haven't ridden there in a bunch of years. And He's like, I know this route. This is it. Like, we're out of here last real trail of the day or I don't think we said last trail of the day you never say last trail of the day but uh we're just like alright we're gonna get through this it's like I know it'll come out the spot where we need to come out at alright cool 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 and man like I had ridden it many many years ago but the trail had trained so dramatically it was just insane so it was just foot peg city Every which way. So, yeah, it was just one of those deals. We had a blast. We, uh, it's where I found a fondness of keeping the stock brake lever and the stock shifter. I know that shifter right there has been bent around my foot peg and back just hammered it well that day I used a rock or maybe a screwdriver and stuff and bent it back into place I'm like Lord just don't let it break on me I'm still riding it today the uh, the shifter I think this is the same shifter still I know I got new ones but I think they're just in my spares box but it, like I've bent that shifter twice on that trail that day. 
I was literally the first time I bent it I bent it so far underneath the the uh, the foot peg I was like man I'm gonna be using a shoestring and having to figure a way to shift it with a shoestring but uh luckily uh i uh, was able to bend it back around without it breaking that was a miracle and uh so yeah i went on went on about my business good tech trail right here this will test the old t-dub for sure test me too if i had the xr100 i would have been hard-headed enough to throw it up that ledge i probably would have turned around two or three times until i was able to ride up it it's just so crazy when you go off rocks on a t-dub and you feel your heel or foot like scraping on the rocks it's like man this thing is very low to the ground it is not an enduro by any means it is a dual sport that will allow we, allow you to get away with some stuff but it'll keep you in check on a lot Yeah, that did. That put me in second gear right there. <laughs> I, like, I like using the the engine braking for trailing. That'd be not a place to to catch a foot peg and have you burnt off the other side there. That's kind of why I'm taking my time. Like when you're tired, things happen not good. I'm not in shape. I haven't been pedaling. And uh, yeah, all that. I have yet to get my routine down. So this is my exercise for the day, but it wipes you out. And I know this trail that I'm on already, like I got a ways to go to get back. And I got to preserve energy for simple mistakes. I'm hugging the rock <laughs> that way I can feel the rock see if I'm close enough if I can't feel the rock then I'm not close enough nah, I didn't scrub the rock you would have heard my jacket scrub or a foot peg or that big cycle racks on the rear back there but if the handlebars will fit through the rest of her will fit through to the crossover intersection so now for that uh, other segment man I could just go right down that and it would take me right to that parking lot but in order to get to that parking lot today I gotta 
wiggle my way back around through here. You don't have vertigo or afraid of heights or anything, do you? <laughs> it's on the edge. Oh. But look at that view. You can't beat it. Hiking, biking, moto. It's all good out here. Thank you. Just me. You know what this trail is good for? It's good for just handling skills because you're not going fast. So momentum, momentum does a lot for your balance. It's the slow speed stuff that we all need to work on, and myself included. That's why I like when I, when I have these opportunities, like, yeah, if you go fast through here, you, you're flowing more and you're brapping all out. You're looking like an ass if the hikers see you. Like, I'll do all that on a more moto trail, but at the same time, I use all this for like my personal moto handling skills it's like I get old 55 I gotta stay sharp I gotta keep the rat keep the rat keep on right keep on T dub and T dub 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 T dub and dub 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 so working on all these little skills is just it's good stuff and I don't know. You see me. I'm, I've been known to moto brap it out. Just depends on the, the situation. I said I was going to turn my camera off, didn't I? But I, I didn't. I, why not? I guess I thought you might want to see this little single track. You could just pretend that I didn't turn around and it's just another trail because it looks different. But the same. Uh -oh. Can't help it. I got desert in me, man. I see natural whoops and you just want to float that front tire. I can't help it. <laughs> this trail is actually perfect for the small displacement bikes, man. My XR400 might be a, a bit much up here. I bet all the little KTM two-strokers, man, this is the spot. bikers be cooking and booking down through here I probably wouldn't well I know probably I wouldn't even be able to keep up with them on this they'd just be flying lighter weight they can like come into the turn wow man I felt my foot on that little root back there like on the side even if that would have hung the foot peg Yep, both feet. <laughs> it is just not a sit down spot. Right. Oh man, just the views. Might be a a good loop de loop hiking trail. Come 
to scout it out, but look at this. This could be my camp spot. Camping out here. Oh yeah, that's a good drop. Thank you, Ricochet. Every time you hear your skid play hit. Like, thank you, Ricochet. Protecting my cases. Burm, 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 burm. Can you imagine getting caught in a little bit of a, a rainstorm of this action? Got a shift. <laughs> it just looked like the the natural flow of things. <laughs> kinds of crazy stuff flying especially where my office is we're like in the flight path of the airstrip and it's just wild all the different things and I'm I'm not a uh, I'm not an airplane aficionado I have a couple buddies who are thinking if it's in the sky they can pretty much name what it is I'm like bird plane Hang glider, paraglider, my finger, that's, that's about all I know of things of aeronautical nature, jets and props. I'm down here on earth on my 196 TW200. crazy when you look at it going downhill versus going uphill uphill just seems to be all right cool downhill's like whoa okay here we go I should have floated it for you but nah Did you see that? That was not good. I floated that and that was a rock over there. <sighs> if I would have not been as hot as I was, that would have been not pretty. Bad, bad, bad. Bad on me. Luckily I had the R's up and was able to float it a little bit more than needed. All right, this trail goes back down to the right. <laughs> uh, that's where the fluffy back tire comes in handy because that sucker just soaked it up, and I uh, I've let uh, I got my rear tire in trail air mode <clears throat> so it took the hit and soaked it up man look at that view Whew. I got a little bit more cautious than that all right 
no more floating over blind whoops remember that last video I was just talking about that or was it oh you know what oh so crazy in my last video when I caught up to um, those guys on the road okay there we go that's video mode so as I was saying before my camera so rudely quit GoPro battery dead uh, but in the last video as soon as I passed those trucks on the road when I was doing my brake dust interlude brake dust brake dust brake dust yeah that section then uh yeah I replaced the battery threw it back in and continued my filming pretty much all the way home which was quite far but uh it was just a giant time elapse so no audio whatsoever uh dang where am I at? I got a ways to go. Oh. No, I'm not there. Where am I there? Where's me there? I don't even know where I'm at. I may be close to the parking lot already. I don't know. But anyhow. As I was saying. Yeah. Go probe. Quit. And, uh. Oh. That's what I was talking about. Yeah, so you saw me as I rolled over that whoop. I'll probably have to do a little freeze frame slow motion, explanation, arrows, triple caution. This is not what you're supposed to be doing kind of thing. But uh, yeah, I came across that and that's what uh, skint my knee up in a big way. And uh, so that's why I do not be doing what I just did. <laughs> because that's how you get hurt. And this little trail, I actually came up this? Dang. All right. Gnar Gnar. Gnar Gnar Enduro Trail. So where does that go? It didn't say don't go there. All right, but yeah, anyhow. All right, so I'm gonna chop you out because I gotta be getting close to the end here and I'll save a little bit for the other side. All right. Oh, oh, oh. Can't cut the fun stuff. A little cut kick. Burp, burp. All right, all right, all right. I'm gonna cut it. I'm gonna cut it. Wherever I can get my hands free. All right, I'm out to another canyon tunnel so I pointed out the parking lot down there as I was coming back on the trail and uh, so that's another another one right there but this little top section here is a dirt road when I came up we came up the bottom part last time I came up to the parking lot and this one just kind of runs over to the parking lot but they have the gate closed up here at the top so it's not a complete loop through traffic for the cars today so there's just been a ton of two-way traffic on the road here today and how do I know this it's because my wife and I came up here in the Land Cruiser earlier today we're kind of out in the route and I'm like oh okay I know where I'm at does this does that ah, it's like people never been in dirt roads before they're standing out of the tops of their cars and filming's awesome but yeah look at all this traffic there's all the all the hikers that came in today but for me I'm gonna make it a loop because I'm gonna go out on that trail again and loop out to the uh, other road, but man, look at this view! Yeah. I 
another reason why I love night riding. I have got to get I've got to get my night rally light set up. I can woo. Let's see if I can sneak around this guy here. So there's the waterfall over there. We're gonna go across the top, cut out through there. But right, look where I'm at. Magic parking lot. So last time we came up through there and we came down through here. Nice uh, Belgian Malinois there. <laughs> that dog looked like my Kona dog. Uh, yeah, some of you may know my Kona dog from past videos. She passed away. She made it to Alabama. She lived a good life. She, 17 years. And uh, she was an awesome dog. We, uh, when my girls were really little, they were really afraid of dogs. So we, um, my wife thought she was getting a uh, Belgian Melanoi or a chocolate lab, actually. And uh, thank you, thank you. Anyhow, we had this dog. She was awesome. My girls laid all over, played all over. Raised her from when she was like six months. Ah, I think I saw them on the trail up top. I did. Pretty sure I did. saying ah nothing too much I'm gonna cut it off I remember this little section being a uh, pretty good last time and I don't even remember which way I went I'm pretty sure I took about the same line I remember, I remember it catching me off pretty good but I did the right on that one instead of the left So I also remember when I got up here, I had a couple of uh, had a couple of uh, trail five miles. This is 
funny, it didn't say. If it's no e-bikes, man, I just, I don't know. I'll save it for another day. Here, my bird dog. Bark. Back break bark. Back break bark. Oh, I'm gonna have to hashtag that. TW. King of the back break bark. Yeah, you see me looking at it. gonna get myself into some thickery here so I can't help it You back there, back tire, doing all that skirching. What we didn't do is come over here and check this out. Oh, dude, I was here and I didn't even see this last time. <laughs> That's so funny. So that's the that's the water that feeds the. Uh, was it the Helen Hunt waterfall or something? I don't know. But this, <laughs> yeah, another old tunnel right here. open it out so we we're up in there somewhere because we were looking down on that parking lot from the other side there so all right uh, you know what this is all about I'm gonna put it out there. Any of you in Colorado Springs wanna do a Wednesday night night ride after work loop? Pretty much not what I just did over on the other side, but this little loop here, which is a repeat of the previous video. Like that's an easy doable night ride from town. And I think it'd be a lot of fun. If anybody's up for it, I'm game. I need an excuse to start putting uh, more lights on my bike. But right now, I'll run the first one with just the JNS. JNS with clear lens goggles, I'm good to go. We can totally do this. So, the invite is out there. Like, hit me up on my Instagram page, Yamaha T Dub Club. That's probably about the easiest best way to get in touch with me and uh we'll come make a wednesday night loop of this thing Woo, you can see where the guys are getting out of the track this is just soft dg all over the place
<laughs> I've only been 19 miles. Man, look at that road. It's just so crazy. Wow. And when it says private property, like not federal, not state, but private, it's like, whoa. How do I get on the invite list? Yeah, same trail, I know, but <laughs> look at this, man. These fall colors are just doing it up. Reminds me of uh, gathering of the goats out there in Tennessee, Kentucky. Made a lot of cool friends out there. And uh, the motorcycle campground up there, man. What a what a cool treat that was. I think those guys are riding this weekend up there. So, in honor of you guys, I'm out here chasing my call, uh, fall colors in Colorado. I uh, wish I could be out there riding with you guys. That'd be a lot of fun. I haven't uh, haven't met all the local T Dubbers out here yet. But in time, in time, in time. Ooh, it just gets dark. I got my tinted lens on and I just need that moment of uh, transition. I need a transition lens for my 100% Barstow's. I don't think they have, uh, maybe they do, I don't know. I need to spend trying to uh, I want some goggles that has a little bit more uh, nose protection over my nose hey uh, it's getting a lot colder out here and B when I ride in the rain out here holy Toledo's that rain just pelts you and my wife and I'm sure the rest of you guys are like just get a full face helmet or a full face dual sport helmet that you can flip up and stuff and I don't know I I wear full face helmets on my you know road going bikes but uh, when I'm off road I've just kind of always ridden with the uh, goggles even when I had my KTM 950 adventure <laughs> but I did have a windshield to hide behind on that bike but uh, I don't know just trying to figure out a way to make my open face helmet more winter friendly and uh, yeah I may be putting the Balaclava zone at some point because it is really starting to get chilly I can feel it Woo. that sun is just kicking all right, well, I just uh, had a moment, thought about all you guys out there at the Gathering of the Goats. And the, and the gang at the uh, motorcycle campground. Springs T dubbers that uh, want to do some uh, cold water or cold water, cold weather camping. I'm I'm game. And I have a couple Scott spots picked out. This would be a good. Back in here, spot right here. I'm just turning around, just seeing if it's a, a spot where I want to camp at. 
could be. Man, this DG is just really like I've had to look back two or three times just because I feel like my uh, I feel like my my tire is going flat, but it's just sliding. <laughs> I like this spot. I like this spot already. This may be the end of this spot. Oh yeah. The end. Okay. But hey, I'll just come up, throw a tent right there. It's just scouting out this little area. That could be uh, some potential camping, but ooh, look at this right here. How cool is this? Yeah. Good little spot. Oh, somebody's celebrating Halloween early. Couple little spots, nothing, uh, nothing spectacular. Man, look at these old water trenches, man. Like these apples. There's all kinds of goodness up in here. And I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm gonna be in for a chilly ride on the way home. Cause it's getting downright nippy. And I don't have my long johns on underneath my clem pants, which are mesh front perfect for summer not so great but I was nervous that I was gonna get too hot today and I did there a couple times so I need to and my other moto pants are just full thick with no venting I'd be soaking wet right about now and those shooting area right here uh, let's go see what the sign says at least right Jeeps only. And it 
say anything about us motorists. We'll see how bad it gets because it could get pretty ugly pretty quick. I got so much riding to do, it's ridiculous. Exploring all these routes. And I need to turn around and start heading down the mountain. Because I got uh, quite a ways to go. Man, nobody's been on this trail in a while. Oh, I bet that connects up with that. Good little camp camp spot over here. Like DG slide. I'm not talking DG exhaust, I'm talking about the DG as in uh, decomposed in granite. Oh, rear, <laughs> rear tire slide. back and look on my uh, GPS kit see where I'm at but man look at this this is my kind of riding holy are you flipping kidding me man there's just trails going every which way in here. Like, all right, honey, we got to bring the cruisy out and just come uh, knock around and all this stuff. I got to get some sliders, but I ain't ran up on anything that's too outlandish for the rig in the slatter department but man this is my kind of moto on a little rainy day this could just be like spectacular wow <laughs> Oh, I was going to hear which one. 
and I get so lost but I'll get my butt turned back around wow I felt that good little moto trail I just need more and more and more and more and more time I'll be back I got some exploring to do here This will get me warmed up. Where are you at, Giorgio? <laughs> I can see him just pickling and bouncing his way through here, picking lines, showing me how it's done. I came down that way, but I bet, I bet this will go back up. Oh, oh man! Look at all these little amp, epic, epic little camp spots, man. All right, my daylight is falling fast, and I got a ways to go. Hoping this will just connect back around. Yeah. Yeah, I'm I'm, I'm missing my shift because I'm uh, I'm choked up way up on the front tire. To make sure that this sucker gets grip. I don't know if that uh, actually makes sense at all to you, but I understand what's going on. I have my uh, gear shift lever set up pretty high, A, to uh, usually when I'm standing up, I can shift while I'm standing up pretty easy, and it also puts my gear shift up at a higher ground clearance so so when I'm sitting down and sitting up on the bars it changes the angle of my foot so yeah I've been kind of missing it there a little bit did I come down this or did I go down that other side I came down this side. I think I was on that other little trail over there. But oh, haha, <laughs> you put me in the trough. I was looking the other way, and what happens when you look where you're going? You go that way. But look at this little camp spot. What have you? Okay, I'm not gonna go into it deeper because oh sad all the trash so not gonna be camping here yeah 
I was looking out over there. I saw that my trail go that way. Stay up, stay up. Uh, DG. Making me work. Uh, all right, where's my trail? Off into the trough. This is the part where I said, Whew, "Don't look like it's been getting ridden much out here." It better be at least. Where's my T-Dub tracks? And there the shoe goes. Alright. Oh, that sun just is brutal. Alright. Pick my line, pick my line. Oh my. I get out onto that road again. Oh, I can't help it. I know where I'm at again. I just gotta go up here and see you look. Oh, that's a good hole right there. Uh, a little four by. Oh, treacherous right there. That's a line. Just like, yeah, I want to test out my rig, see what she'll do. I may be back up here, or uh, was a minute ago? I don't know. That could be. Get you. Just... Yeah, I gotta go that way. Definitely a little. <laughs> this is the way. A little four by training uh, spot right here. Whoa, DG. See that my front tire just started going away in the DG. <laughs> Back tires just oh man, I just saw a uh, oil cap. All right, well, definitely. Uh, Stay up, stay up, stay up on that upper side. Alright. More to come to explore. But on this episode, I think I'm going to call it quits and head back down the mountain because I'm a long ways. Oh. I could, uh... What if I ran... I ran the canyon back and then that way I wouldn't have to run that old coat old camp road and uh because that road is uh it's just gonna be wide open and cold I may literally do that instead just run run that back I didn't think about that, but he's an option. He's an option. He's an option. All right, GC Rad One here, Yamaha T Dub Club, and as you just saw in the text incident, yeah, I had a little incident on my way back from this trip, and um, I was just coming into, I guess you could call it Manitou Springs. There's a little neighborhood 
as you come off the mountain before you get to, I guess it's technically Highway 24, Cinnamon, not Cinnamon Pass. I don't know. I'm still new to this whole area, but it didn't, rem it didn't matter. I was on the street and basically I was coming up to a traffic light out of a little neighborhood, but on the corner was or is a barbecue place, some type of restaurant there. And the car approaching me, well, I didn't have time to assume if they saw me or not because as I was coming up to this light, which had a street and then a driveway, I was watching this car come up really fast on the right and I thought they were going to blow the stop sign so I was slowing down for that person uh, because I thought they were going to blow the stop sign you know somehow out here in Colorado Springs people drive slow they drive fast they drive kind of erratic uh, I know they've had an influx of a lot of people from California I don't know if that's to blame uh, I don't know but anyhow this car was coming up fast, so I was slowing down, and I was kind of watching them as I passed. And then I saw the next car, and then as I was getting closer to the light, they all of a sudden started turning in on me. And I'm pretty much in the middle of the road, because I wasn't following any cars in front of me. And so when I see them starting to come over on me, I hit the brakes, I get the bike, <laughs> sliding essentially because I'm like on the brake really hard because this happened really fast so I get the bike to slide to the right and just as I'm about to like oh I'm about to go over the hood of this car I get off the brake get the bike straightened up they still didn't see me yet they didn't see me until I impacted their front bumper uh, but I literally scraped across their front bumper had I not slid the bike sideways and got it over to the right i would have definitely hit their front wheel and over the hood that way most likely i don't know again this happened so extremely fast um but lo and behold i got it stopped by the driveways you know right hand side and i basically just put my kickstand down and just kind of fell down to the ground and was just like oh my goodness i'm like i'm alive I didn't drop my bike, I didn't get knocked off my bike, and I got my bike to the stop in that short of a distance. And uh, it was peop people, it was so melodramatic almost that the people around us didn't even really realize what happened. And of course, the guy that came screaming up that side street, he had to have seen what happened. He just drove on around and went on past. No big deal. It's just a guy on a bike, got hit, who cares? So, um, the only thing that happened to my bike is, uh, is really I bent up that shifter, uh, which we were talking about in the video of how many times I've bent that shifter. Um, but I also bent back my foot peg mount, so that's gonna have to get looked after. Uh, I skint, I'm looking at my bike over here, I skint the uh, good old ricochet skid plate, has a good mark on the side, but I think it's just paint, and then you can see where it lapped over onto the, um, the side case, uh, which covers the electronics, you know, the magneto in there. But luckily, I didn't crack a case, it didn't, it, you know, I haven't fully, fully inspected, but it's not leaking. No, I don't think it's an oil bath um, magneto on that side anyhow. But it didn't look to be that I cracked it, but I do have to get in there and inspect it. The only thing that happened to my foot was I think it kind of got, it, it either slapped the car or either slapped the ground when I came off the front bumper, I don't know. But my heels really bruised, and then the top portion of my foot um was pretty pretty hurt there but uh yeah i got i got away crazy lucky so yeah that's what happened so no matter it, it's gonna happen it's just gonna happen i mean accidents are gonna happen because because 
people aren't always paying attention, but I will say this, in this particular case, when I was inspecting her car, I noticed that in the mirror were these three big, they weren't dice, but they were like little pictograms or little, I don't know, whatever, but they were probably about that big in size and they were hanging from her mirror. So I'm assuming that in the line of sight, of those things was me and she couldn't see me because those things were hanging uh, from her mirror in the car. 